At this time, it is my distinct privilege to introduce today's speaker that will deliver the keynote address. Emergency service workers in Indiana, policemen, paramedics, and EMTs, and certainly firefighters, know no better ally in the federal government than Joe Donnelly. He is our neighbor from South Bend and our friend in the nation's capital. Friends and guests, would you please join me in welcoming United States Senator Joe Donnelly. Captain Kellams, thank you. Chief, thank you so much for letting me be here today. And I would appreciate it if all of you uh, would join with me in a special recognition. We have here with us today uh, Mr. and Mrs. Robert Middlebrook and the Middlebrook family. We lost Jamie when New Carlisle uh, went and all the fellow volunteer departments came to help in a fire. And he was an extraordinary young man who did so much for our community and our town. And I'd appreciate it if you join me in recognizing the Middlebrook family. There has been such a wonderful partnership over the years with New Carlisle and with so many of the other uh, volunteer fire departments around here. This is a very, very special day. I look and I went through the Hall of Fame and saw the picture from 1947 when they were out making their first run. And you see the fireman's ball that's here every year. And the pancake breakfasts. I've eaten a lot of pancakes and had a lot of sausage in this building. And every single day was a wonderful day. And what you're looking at to me are heroes. They're not paid but they come out in the most difficult circumstances. When other people are running out of the building, these folks run into the building. And besides being our heroes, they are the people who our community is built upon. In almost all the towns where we have volunteer fire departments, those towns focus upon and revolve around our police and our fire and are the fabric that knits us together, that keeps us as a community. And so this really is the cornerstone of this entire town. Every time I've been here for parades or for Memorial Days or for the events here, everything always ends here at the fire department. Everything always focuses here. And to look at this building from 1947 to now, and it looks like it's good for another 100 years, and that's because of the extraordinary school we have here, New Prairie High School, and many of our other local construction folks. But New Prairie High Building Trades did all of this. And Madison, Madison is a New Prairie High uh, graduate student as well. 
We not only build well at New Prairie, we sing well, Madison, also. But this is breathtaking. It defines community. It defines who we are as a country. We care about one another. We look out for one another. And we love this township. We love this state. And we love this county. And thank you for keeping us safe each and every day. God bless America. Thank you very, very much. At this time, the chiefs of the Kankakee Township Fire Department, Chief Stoner, Administrative Chief Tom Cody, and Battalion Chief Mike Lewandowski will come forward and participate in the charter member dedication. This will be a ceremony that is meant to recognize the men that started this fire department and built it literally from the ground up beginning in 1947. The fire service is rich with ceremony, custom, and tradition. One of those long-standing traditions is the fire bell. The fire bell on the front of our pumper is rung on the return safely from a fire scene. The bell is rung with two series of two rings three times. Another tradition in the bell ringing is to honor the firefighters. What we're going to do today is we're going to read the names of the 20 original firefighters and uh, after each name, the bell will toll one time in honor of that firefighter. Oscar Halter, Fire Chief. Glenn Rice, Assistant Chief. Basil Jones, Captain. Ward Ulrich, Secretary Treasurer. Frank Buss. Paul Bus, Walter Bus, Ben Hausnick, Lincoln Tim Hunt, Rex Hunt, Warren A. Hunt, Ralph Pavlak. Albert Preston, Robert Schroeder, Jack Sneed, Richard Stevens, Lawrence Turek, Edward Voss, Charles Weebrook, Jr. Robert Workman. 